Casino, like Press TV, like Channel 4's dispatches, uh, Jon Snow, to say they are grateful that they have allowed the world to witness the crimes that Israel is committing. They have allowed the world to witness the truth of the suffering of the Palestinian people and the barbarism of Israel's crimes. In the manner that the true, honest and fair media will do so. Unlike the BBC, the BBC who has failed its contract with the British public who are paying for its services. They, they have failed to provide us with the truth and the reality of the crimes that Israel is committing on innocent civilians. The BBC attempts to use its so-called commitment to impartiality in its defence of such a failure and such a in the world, not what you feel is fit and necessary by the pressure that is put upon you from other people. You speak of impartiality and in your coverage of the Gaza war you ensured that less than a fraction of the attacks on innocent civilians were shown but you made sure at the same time that representatives of Israel and spokesmen of Israel are on, the, on your screens misleading, misguiding, misinforming the viewers and you still speak of impartiality. How is it being impartial when you refuse an emergency aid to provide an emergency appeal to provide humanitarian aid to support a starving, weak, ill and devastated people in a severe humanitarian crisis? You held appeals for Sudan, you held appeals for Liberia, for Goma, for the tsunami to help suffering people. Is a 1.5 million Palestinian population who is suffering not enough and not important for you? And you still speak of impartiality. If you choose not to deliver, others will. But we are now informed of the reliable sources. How is it that this BBC, the biased broadcasting cooperative, is even trying to equate between the colonised and the coloniser, the innocent and the barbaric, the victim and the murderer? Mind up, please. Israel is now trying to use media as another weapon of its war. In its war, it has claimed to have achieved its objectives. We clearly proved the true intentions of Israel of an attack on the indigenous population of Palestine simply for being Palestinian. Killing over 1,400 and over, injuring over 5,000 5, civilians and leaving a city in rubble and destruction. The truth is that Hamas is now stronger and has defeated Israel. The people of the world of Israel. But I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you that, the, that these mass slaughters, despite all Israeli efforts to try and hide or cover, are revealed. And they, that will be the slogan of Israel. This slogan will remain in the history of Israel. Israel will be labelled the criminals of this time worldwide in the very same way that the Nazis are still labelled today. Every city, every village, every airport, every checkpoint, every house, every office, they will be questioned and they will be recognized only as criminals of war. Stained by the bloodbath of Khalilia, stained by the bloodbath of Deri Asim, stained by the bloodbath of Sabra and Shatila, stained by the bloodbath of Ghana, now stained by the bloodbath of Gaza. This will be the last of Israel's stains before it is before it is rinsed and hung to dry.